Hello everybody. My name is Mary and I play clarinets in the Inside the Orchestra and Tiny Tuts Orchestra. And today we are going to go on a trip around the world with music and art. I'm going to make the music, actually the composers made the music, but I'm going to share it with you and you are going to make art, whatever your imagination um, inspires you to make. So do you have all of your crayons or your paints or your cut colored paper or whatever you want to make art with, with you today? I'm going to start on our tour around the world at home with George Gershwin. And George Gershwin was one of the early musicians in this country to make what we call jazz. So this is a piece that he wrote for clarinet that uses jazz. And the thing about composers is that they imagine pieces, but then they might have had a thing in mind when they wrote the piece. But when we listen to the piece, our imaginations may hear a different thing than what the composer thought. So anything that we hear is okay. So when you draw or paint or whatever you do to make art with this piece, it's whatever your imagination thinks this piece inspires in you. So, George Gershwin from the United States, England. And we're going to hear a piece by a composer named Gerald Finzi. And for this piece, I'm going to change instruments. This instrument is my A clarinet. It's a little bit longer than the B flat. And I will now go to the B flat, which has a little bit higher sound. You'll hear. And this piece, the English composers really love the clarinet and they write a lot of music that has to do with the countryside and very pretty scenes of 
green trees and grass and, and lakes and the things that are in a lot of those in England. So this piece has that sort of feel to it. So that is a piece that an English composer wrote, thinking maybe about the beautiful nature in his area of England. So I hope you're having a good time drawing to these pieces. Now we're going to move to another country. We're going to move to France. And in France, we meet a kind of an odd guy. His name is Eric Satie, and he was a very interesting composer. He wrote a lot of little bitty pieces that had very kind of strange names. And this set of pieces is called Gymnopédie, and this is number two of that set. He was a very nice composer, and this piece is a, a kind of a slow piece, and I hope you like it and find a good uh, thing to draw for this piece.
Now we're going to move to Russia. Well, we're going to talk about the Russian composers, many of them really loved stories. And for these pieces, I'm going to go back to the longer clarinet, the A clarinet we call it. It has a little bit uh, deeper sound. The first song is from a uh, ballet. has to do with a grandfather and the grandfather it is a big party all the family is there and the grandfather wants to come out and join the dance so that grandfather danced really had a good time can't move very fast can he so but you may have thought of something completely different when you did your drawing because we can think of whatever we want during the music that we hear I'm going to go to another Russian composer. And this piece is called The Firebird. And it has the very opening part that I'll play, has music that sounds a little bit like a bird, but it's kind of a big bird because it's low in the register of the instrument. So you'll hear that it's chirping like a little bird, but it's a kind of a big, little bit bigger, deeper voice bird. the bird or maybe you thought of something else and now there's music when we go to the princess's dance music, isn't it? And now we're coming home again. We're coming back to the United States and we're going to hear some music from Leonard Bernstein. 
And Leonard Bernstein was a composer who, again, wrote very jazzy, sort of American, lively sort of music. And this is a sonata that he wrote for clarinet. Part of that music is pretty active and busy, and part of it is a little bit more calm. I want to change to another instrument. And this instrument is the bass clarinet. And the bass clarinet, this one is called an orchestral bass clarinet because it has extra keys. I'm holding it up so you can see all these extra keys down here. That makes it a lot lower than a normal bass clarinet that you would hear in a band, for example. And it can go very low. That's its lowest note that it can play. And we're going to go again now. We're going to go to other countries. This is France. And we're going to hear from a composer named Duca. So see if you remember this music and draw whatever it makes you think of, okay? <laughs> character. It was a, a movie that had Mickey Mouse in it. And he was being the sorcerer in this piece, which is the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Now we're going to go back to Russia. And we will have two composers, two pieces from Russia. This first piece is from a ballet called Petrushka. And this piece is by Igor Stravinsky. In this ballet, the character that the bass clarinet plays is a bear. And it's a bear in a circus, and it's a dancing bear. Do you hear the bear dancing around? And now the other piece that I'd like to play on the bass clarinet, the same piece 
that the first dancing from the grandfather is. It's from The Nutcracker by Tchaikovsky. <laughs> And in this part of the ballet, it's the beginning and all of the family is coming out and having a big Christmas party and everybody's dancing. So it's another dance piece. So can you imagine what the composer might have been thinking about when he wrote that music for a party? So I hope that you've had time to do some really nice drawings and that you've enjoyed using your imagination like these composers did. Okay. I've enjoyed spending time with you today and making music and art together. And I hope that you continue to listen to music and you continue to make art. Bye-bye. <laughs>